insurers won't cover new Alzheimer's treatment for some customers. Some private insurance companies in states, including North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and New York, have refused to cover the cost of Lakembi, the first fully approved drug for slowing cognitive decline in Alzheimer's patients, citing its experimental status and a yearly cost of 6,000. This decision stands in contrast to Medicare, the federal coverage program for people aged 65 and older, which announced it will cover the drug while monitoring its safety and effectiveness. Lukenbi, co-marketed by Japanese drug maker Isai and Biogen Incorporated, based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration for patients with mild dementia and other symptoms caused by early Alzheimer's. The drug was shown to slow memory and thinking decline by about five months compared to a placebo in a large study. However, some Alzheimer's experts argue this delay may be too subtle for patients or their families to notice. Around 76% of people taking Lakembi will be covered by Medicare, but those under 65 are more likely to have commercial coverage. Insurers refusing to cover the drug include Highmark, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, and Philadelphia-based Independence Blue Cross. However, Kaiser Permanente and Elevance Health, the largest provider of Blue Cross Blue Shield plans in the United States, will cover the drug for commercial plans, while United Healthcare declined to comment. While most insurers are expected to eventually cover the drug, they are likely to heavily restrict its use through pre-approval requirements and other measures. The refusal to cover Lakembi has been largely attributed to concerns about the drug's side effects, high cost, and the perceived questionable evidence supporting its effectiveness. Thank you for sticking with us till the end of this video. If you found our content on the developing situation with Alzheimer's treatment informative, remember to hit the like button. Your support helps us deliver more updates on healthcare and insurance coverage. Please consider subscribing to our channel for your daily dose of news. Together, let's stay informed.